In Season of the Arrivals, we were introduced to a mysterious tree of silver wings on Io, a tree that had paracausal ties to both light and the dark. In Destiny 2's latest Solstice event, we collect silver leaves and turn them into silver ash and are spread across the system. Today we're going to discuss the two known trees of silver wings, what created them, and what these silver leaves may mean for the final shape. From the MK44 standicides, we can see some lore about the silver tree, the first one that is, in the garden. A tree in the garden with silver wings. The air around it is oppressive and inspires violence in those who even breathe a little in. Shards of the disastrous bark peel from it and litter the ground, and nothing grows in its shadow. It scintillates faintly at dusk. It has achieved its entelechy with every body falling every civilization laid to waste, every leaf forged into instruments of ruin. The gardener is hard to bother. She is constantly amidst her weeds, kneeling in the tangent dust, gloves covered in a mix of distant soils and metallic saps. She is listening to the music of the insects amidst the flowers, the unguent as it begins to drip from the ferns, the slight scratch of the worm beneath, and not to you, and certainly not to your cries for help. So there we get some interesting lines. This tree of silver wings resides in a garden. We don't know what garden. It's the garden where the gardener and Winnower had their fights long ago, wherever that may be. But around this tree, we see the air is oppressive and inspires violence in those who even breathe it in. It says these shards of the disastrous bark peel from it and litter the ground. It has achieved entelechy with every body falling, every civilization laid to waste, which means that it's realizing its potential. And lastly, every leaf forged is an instrument of ruin. This original tree was destroyed by the Gardener and the Winnower. In the Gardener and Winnower card, we see a tree of silver wings bloomed, yielded fruit, shed feathers, and bloomed again. It was believed that this original tree in that garden was destroyed by these two paracausal forces. And that's all we pretty much know on its origins. In Season of the Arrivals, though, we would encounter our own Tree of Silver Wings and also the Seed of Silver Wings. In a card, Eris says this. There is a second tree, obviously. It has grown, and from it, the Guardian has taken a seed that we intend to use for study. With the tree's parent felled in the Black Garden, this may be a rarely given opportunity. I am only now beginning to record its most lightly guarded secrets. It is fluid in nature. No, Asher, not physically. It acts as an engine of integration, incorporating that which it contacts into its structure. It feeds from paracausal energy, the light, the dark. They are vying for dominance within its every particle. I wonder whether we are meant to enact a second unveiling, whether this is to be a peeling away of an existence nurtured within its bark, one in which we may play out with paths that are yet to come. There are many answers, but the question remains, by whom was it planted? I hope this message finds you in good health and less pain. I look forward to your thoughts. To the gallant, the mystic, the scribe, may our bond hold strong, ever sworn Eris Morn. Now there are a couple of different beliefs. The first theory is that the traveler created this tree before it fled when the collapse went down. Ghost said, a weapon, born of the light and made from the physical essence of the Traveler, like the Tree of Silver Wings. This is unprecedented. So Ghost is saying the Tree of Silver Wings, like this weapon, was born from the light and was connected to the Traveler. In a different theory though, the stories posted on Bungie.net, we see Osiris enter a structure and finds a metal seed. Marasov would later find him and tell him to plant it. In this theory, many believe Osiris planted the tree on Io for Mara for some reason. Near that tree, an Osiris symbol can also be found planted in the ground, the same sigil that Brother Vance wore. Queen Marasov wanted me to tell you, Vance struggled to catch his breath. She wanted me to tell you, plant the seed. Osiris studied Vance quizzically. I don't know what she means, but she said you would, Vance offered apologetically. 
I believe I do, Osiris replied, placing his hands on Vance's still heaving shoulder. Thank you, this is quite useful. Well done. The Ruin Wing's descriptive text says, In the garden grows a tree of silver wings. The leaves are ruin, the bark disaster. Of the seeds, we do not speak. So, with those two theories, did the Traveler create the tree, or did Osiris find this seed within a pyramid ship and plant it? I'm not sure if this was cleared up in the lore. If it was, be sure to tell us in the comments below. But either way, the Tree of Silver Wings is connected to both light and the dark, so maybe they're both kind of true. The ruinous effigy exotic was created from this tree, which is actually pretty cool. And in the lore card for that, Zavala says that it uses the wielder's light, but Banshee corrects him saying, no, it eats their light, it's not using it. Zavala puts a hand on Banshee's shoulder, smiles and gestures to the weapon. Equipment that uses the wielder's light is not unprecedented. It doesn't use it, it eats it. Things got an appetite, works almost like uh, a converter. Is it dangerous? Nah, Guardian doesn't seem to notice. I'll get you a write-up. As witnessed in the MK44 lore card that we talked about, the Gardener and Winnower seem to know that the tree exists, but the new tree on Io appears to have a better connection to the darkness. Look at that seasonal activity and also the pyramid ship hovering above it. This is all kind of important as of late when you think about Solstice. We have new currencies in Silver Leaves and Silver Ash. So are these just names for new currency for some type of fun event? Or do they have a deeper meaning in this backstory? The Tree of Silver Wings seems to capture paracausal power, both light and dark. The ruinous effigy captured light in the season of the arrivals, and we would capture some darkness to progress some quests and events. It seems connected to both forms of power. Now, the tree has mystery. Bungie loves to do that sort of thing, so perhaps it's involved with the final shape. Was this tree sprouted to foreshadow what the darkness or follower of the darkness in the witness wants? The Ruin Wing said the leaves are ruin. Again, we don't know if these silver leaves in the event come from or are connected to the tree, but that's definitely not good. During the event, we earn silver leaves in pretty much every activity across the system, meaning that they've spread and possibly infected. If the Traveler created this tree on Io, for example, it may have also created these leaves. If that's the case, is this building towards next season and the overall story, the Traveler preparing for something with these leaves? Or is this just simply another currency? Anyway, Guardians, that's all we got for today's video on the Tree of Silver Wings and if it can lead to anything with these silver leaves in Solstice. If you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mysteries just like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.